Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today to show you three different floor plans of the Helio RV. For more information on these campers or anything else, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you do ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. If there's another particular uh, RV that you'd like me to uh, review for you, if there's a particular system you'd like me to review, or anything else, by all means just reach out to me. I'm going to have the specs for these as well as my contact information at the end of this video as well as down below. If this is the first time that you're uh, joining me, I appreciate you watching. Uh, do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Just down below you'll see the, uh, the subscribe button. Right next to it is a little bell. If you would like to be notified when I'm putting up new videos, click that bell as well and you will be notified every time I'm putting a video up. But uh, let's get on to these campers. So this is the Helio HE3, the smallest one that they have. Coming in with a dry weight just under 600 pounds. Does have a power cord, 30 amp power cord. Beauty of this thing particular thing, you could pair this down to a 15 amp and still be able to use the air conditioner on the inside. Air conditioner is going to be right up underneath this black box up in the front. You do have a battery and for those of you that will be boondocking, to extend your boondocking capabilities, you have a solar panel connection right there so you can bring suitcase style solar panel and be able to um, keep your battery charged a little bit longer. Now understand that when you're boondocking the air conditioner will not be able to be used unless you have a generator. Now right here is a 110 GFI outlet so that way there while you're camping on this side here you can go ahead and set up a tent to stay underneath uh, one of those pop-up tent styles and then you can have some music maybe some different um, you know crock pot different things like that to add to your camping enjoyment on the opposite side not going to have much here just just a window that can open up the nice thing about this particular one versus uh, there, there was some others that are out there is that you actually have the door with a screen it's a screen door so that you're able to have that for airflow plus both of your windows open up and they are screened so it gives you a lot of ventilation if you need it now to increase your ventilation you see they have a vent fan on the roof now you can use a small vent fan like this one here or you can go ahead and upgrade that to like a fantastic fan so you can either be pulling the air in or pulling the air out looking down in your camper as you can see it's built for two this bed area is 74 inches in length so it's six foot two by 42 inches wide as you see you have a bright light you can see nice in here everything's white you have 110 outlets up in the front there as well as 12 volt outlets and USB so you see there's your USB charging station or, or your 12 volt now, as you can see you also have a window style air conditioner in here and boy does this thing put out the cool I tell you it gets nice and cold in here if that is the way you like to sleep so inside the unit you'll see on this sheet right here showing you the uh, specs for the particular unit and what you have in it gross vehicle weight rating on this is 1400 pounds cargo carrying capacity is 902 pounds putting the actual dry weight on this thing just under 600 pounds give you another vantage point looking at this And you can see the light in the back above the door and that actually has two settings you have so this on right now it's bright but you push it again it'll go off and then you have a uh, smaller setting so it wouldn't be as bright if you wanted to so now they also make three other helios they have a helio o2 o3 and o4 i'm going to be able to show you the o2 and the o3 and what they correlate to is how many people you could sleep so the o2 being two people o33 and o44 
So starting with the O2, what I want to do is kind of talk to you about the construction of the camper. So when you're looking at your walls, this is what your walls look like. So it's nice high gloss gel coat, fiberglass, foam type insulation, and then your interior wall. So that is for the walls, they're laminated walls, and that is what they look like. For your floor, they're building it, and by the way, most of this construction is taken from both the boating industry as well as the aircraft industry, and I'll kind of explain that. This is one of the boating um, industry from the boating, and this is the floor. As you can see, it is wood, and it is encased in fiberglass, making for a nice, uh, firm floor, and from a structural standpoint, making it very hard as well. The roof itself, this is a molded fiberglass uh, cap. It is two-piece, and we'll show you that as we walk around. So let's show you the rest of this. So your dry weight's gonna come in under 1,600 pounds for these. There's your aluminum frame. And quite the nice looking camper, if I might say so myself. On the off door side, of course, this is where you're gonna have your uh, electric hookup, your water heater, water hookup, fresh water tank. Notice how they put the fresh water tank at the back of the RV. And then of course, this is a vent for both your black and your gray tank. Your LP bottle and battery are gonna go right up underneath uh, this little cover here. As you can see, they tuck quite nicely down under there. And the back side is looking going to look just like the front. Nicely molded fiberglass cap. Let me show you where that seam is. So where they're putting the seam, and this is from an electrical standpoint, they put the seam right here. You can see it? And that is epoxied in there and then siliconed on top, giving it a watertight seal so that you're not going to have water intrusion or less chance of it. Now the other thing they do when they're doing this molded cap, you're going to notice how it, it has a curvature right here. And that keeps the water running down to the back and to the front. That way there you're not having water running down your sides of your camper. Or I should actually say less water coming down the sides of your camper. As you can see towards the back here, you got a nice storage area. You can get to this from the inside as well. Down below, you're going to have stabilizers. And you can have nice big windows that you can open up on either side of the camper. And right here on your door side, you're going to have a 110 outlet, GFI protected. And we're there, most of the time, you're going to be outside of your camper, so that makes it nice for when you are outside your camper. And then, of course, you have your light for the outside. Nice screen door there. Now we're there for those of you that want to go ahead and enjoy the, the weather because maybe it's cool or you want to have some airflow, you can go ahead and um, leave your door open and have the screen door for uh, pest protection, I guess you would say. Coming in your camper, you're going to notice a step. And when I was talking about aircraft construction, that's what they're using for these doors, for the cabinetry in here. It's a honeycomb style uh, construction with the aluminum frame, making it lightweight and very, very durable. So that's what you're going to see on the inside. Of course, you have the inside kitchen. Notice how you have a light right above your faucet there. And let me pan towards the back. So you're going to have your nice refrigerator. It's up high. You have a power vent fan in the roof. And then the bed, your bed area here, when you fold this uh, dinette down to a bed, you're, it's going to be 63 inches from front to back, so width-wise, and then 73 inches side to side. As you can see you have a window on the other side, you have a place to hang some clothes, your thermostat for your heater there, also for your tanks, you can check your tanks, which are right up above your refrigerator. And this one has the power vent fan, so you can be pulling the air in or you're going to be pulling the air out of your coach. Now, if you decided you wanted to have a, um, an air conditioner, it would go right into this cabinet here. 
and the vent is already set up for you to connect it and the 110 power source is in there as well so you just set it right in there and you you just take the door off and you'd have air conditioner for your unit as you can see they have the locks on the door so they're not going to come open while you're traveling down the road and notice how it's a full extension drawer glide and it is four-sided wood and as you can see they utilize every square inch of this coach to give you the best possible storage because you know storage is a premium when you're in such a small unit down below your dinette you're going to have of course your heat ducts charging station on this side so that's your 12 volt charging station your breakers and fuses on this side along with your 110 outlet there as well now as you come in the door this is where your microwave is going to be located right above that is going to be your two burner cooktop but notice how they have the glass top on there so when you're not using it you've got nice counter space and then the um, cover actually adds as a nice backsplash right up above it you have a little spice rack mounted on the wall for you you're going to notice the ceiling it is a padded type cloth ceiling giving you additional uh, insulation factors there so now your O2 does have the uh, what we call a wet bath so you're going to have your toilet as well as your shower in here People always say, well, Paul, how are we supposed to take a shower? Well, in these, when you have a wet, wet bath, typically what you're doing is you're sitting down in the toilet while you're taking your shower. So that is in your toilet area. And notice how you have a little vent for that bathroom. So I mentioned the refrigerator earlier. Now, this particular one that you're going to have, it's going to be both, it's going to be an automatic RV fridge, meaning you're going to be able to work in a 110 or on propane as you can see you have nice little refrigerator and even have some freezer space up on the front counter you have another GFI outlet and then we show you the storage up underneath here see it's pretty good storage there then you have one other storage area here underneath the sink area Now we're taking a look at the O3. This is the Healy O3, meaning sleeping for up to three people. Again, you're gonna come in dry weight under 1,600 pounds. It's aluminum frame construction. So you're, a lot of vehicles can tow this. Your tongue weight is gonna be coming in somewhere around 200, maybe 250 pounds. Again, allowing even the smaller vehicles to be towing this. So of course, you're gonna have your water heater, electric hookup, and so forth on this one. And then you do have an outside shower on the O3. And that'll be both hot and cold water. Now something I did not show you on the O2, which it does have, is it does have a sewer hose holder. Same, same position as the o, um, O2. And this is the O3, and you see your stabilizers. same molded fiberglass cap you're gonna have the same laminated sidewalls same flooring in this and the same type of a power vent fan for the roof now the nice thing with that type of power vent fan it's a max uh, fan is the fact that you're able to use it in if it's raining out so it makes it very nice again you're gonna have your storage on the back side right here which you can you can get access to that from underneath of your dinette booth as well Furnix exhaust right there, 110 outlet, and as you can see, the nice thing with the light is that it's, a, it's an orange-yellow style light, not going to be attracting the bugs. So as we're looking in this, and as you can see, they come with different interior colors, this is what the front of the O3 looks like. So this would be your third bed, but the nice thing is now you have two different dinette tables if you need it. Now, so the front bed is going to be roughly about 26, 27 inches wide by 73 inches in length. And as you noticed, 
when I, when I was standing outside, it does have a porta potty in here. You just remove the cushion and you're able to access your porta potty, which has a holding tank on the outside. Now the rear bed is going to be the same as the O2, 63 inches wide by 73 inches in length. And what I'm talking width, width is from front to back, 73 inches long is side to side. That's the way most people are going to be sleeping. As you can see, now they combine your sink and your two burner cooktop all in one. Nice thing with this, makes it nice and easy for you to clean off, because as you clean this off, it's going to run right down into the sink. And when you're not using the sink or the cooktop, you're able to fold your sink down and put that top right on down there. And now you have all that counter space. Now you say you hate looking at the toilet. Well, you can see it has a door and you can close that. Keep it out of sight, out of mind. Right under your dinette, there you can see you have a 110 outlet. This is the front dinette, and it has two USB ports in it as well. Up in the front area, very similar to the O2, you're going to have your charging station on the door side, 110 outlet on your off door side, right next to your breaker and fuse panel. Now, as you come in the door, the microwave's in the same location larger door for you to open up right here and you can still store a little bit of stuff back behind here same thing like in the o2 where you could put an air conditioner in here and there's how you strap it in there to keep it from moving that just needs to be installed on the o2 again you could see the drawer full full extension drawer glide so there you have it those are the three different floor plans we have of the Helio RVs here at Beckley's Camping Center. Now I know there's a lot of chatter out there about not very many windows inside of the Helios. Keep in mind that for the most part, people that have these teardrops and so forth, you're not spending the daytime inside them. You're spending the time in there while you're sleeping. At that point, you're gonna to wanna to have it dark. But in the event that you're in it during the day or even at night you want some airflow, you've got plenty be besides your, your door and the windows and the power vent fan, you have plenty of air circulation that uh, you could use um, or that you need actually. So keep that in mind. I mean, there's, th this is not going to be something for everybody and we realize that. Uh, but that's why we carry so many different RVs. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you uh, are new to the channel and you'd like to keep up to date on the different things that are going on in the RV industry, do click the subscribe button down below because I try to cover everything from pop-ups up to your $400,000 motorhomes. So, and if there's something in particular you'd like me to cover or do a preview on or even talk about how a particular system uh, works or even aftermarket equipment, be more than happy to try to oblige that uh, request. Just uh, make a comment down below, reach out to me. My contact information, as well as the specs and pricing for these units will be on the end of this video, as well as down below. I do appreciate you watching, and I'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care.